This one is a huge radon Halloween haul. I don't have like a ton of things, but I kind of do. It's kind of weird. I don't want to like psych you, stuff, psych you guys up for like a 30 minute haul video because that's just not what this is going to be. But I do have some really great things. I do have a lot in it. So if you are interested in seeing what I got, then go ahead and just keep on watching. So first things first, I'm going to start with my one non-radon item. It is magenta, and I got, my AC just kicked on, so I apologize. I got this little um, spirits, like little cheese tray, and it's like a Ouija board. I thought this would be really cool to pair with my display once I do get that up. I think I'm going to be doing that next weekend, um, but we'll see. So I did get this. This was only $3.99, so I thought it was a pretty good deal, and I thought it would kind of go with that whole like white and black theme that we got going on with Redone. And then I'm just gonna jump into the non-Halloween items. Uh, the first one is the Stems Little Holder Base. If you have been following me for a while, I did have Grow, but then I ended up giving that to a friend, and then when I saw Stems come out, I figured I might as well get Stems, even though I realized that I have Stems where? Right over there. I don't know how many items I can have that say the same thing, but apparently I need them all. And the last non Halloween fall item that I got is the teapot. I love this so much more than the round. I'm obviously going to be keeping them both, but I think this one is so, so precious. It's a lot smaller than I expected, but this guy is just absolutely adorable. So he's definitely my favorite of the teapots, I have to say. Okay, then going on to Halloween, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to start with Let's just do the canister. Alright, so the canister that I got is the Trick for Treats, what is it, Trick for Dog Treats canister. Um, I'm honest, I, nobody wanted it, so I was like, fine, I'll just get it. I got dogs, I love dogs. I can probably pair it. I'm not 100% in love with it, but I did end up getting this. And I'll just get this one out of the way, and then we'll just get into mugs. I got the Witch's Brew Pitcher. I was so excited when I found this. Oddly enough, there's only one on the tank. Can't believe it, don't know why, but there was just one. So I was excited to get this. Now I'm on the hunt for Hocus Pocus, but who knows if that's even gonna be circulating again, but I'm so glad that I was able to get one picture. And then continuing on with the Halloween, I'm gonna show you the one candle that I got. And it is the Ghost, and it has like a black wax. It actually smells pretty good. It's a white pumpkin, and I didn't actually think I was gonna like the scent, but I did. I wanted ghosts because this is actually something that I don't have a word of. So that's why I got this. And let's just get into the mugs. So the first Halloween mug that I got was Bewitched with the green interior. I love these ones. I love the ones with the interior, the colored interior. I just, I swoon over them. The next one that I got is Fortune Teller with the purple interior. Um, I love this. This was like one of my biggest ISOs. I did end up finding Lazy Bones with the black skeletons on the back with the Witch's Brew picture, but I traded that for this because a girl in my Redone group, she really wanted Lazy Bones and I really wanted Fortune Teller, so it was a win-win situation, and I'm so in love with this mug. And the last Halloween mug that I got was Hocus Pocus with the orange interior. Obviously, I would have preferred the purple, but... I got, I got my fortune teller that's purple interior, so this will just have to do. And then we're going to move on to fall, because you know fall, Thanksgiving, Halloween, they're all like, they've all just combined. The only mug that I got for fall thus far is the fall y'all mug with the orange interior. I was so excited to get this. I guess it was like 14 at the store when this was found, I was just like, oh my gosh, so... I'm so excited to get one of those. And then I'll go with my canisters. So I'm going to go from the baby size to the baby size. And I got the Baby Grateful. It is the orange. All of them are going to be orange. Um, this was $9.99. I don't know why I decided to tell you the price on this. But it is orange. I think I might Sharpie them because I'm not 100% in love with the orange. But I still can't decide. Let me know in the comments below if you prefer the orange or black, and if you think I should attempt to do Sharpie. I just want to ruin it, that's my thing, because I just, I know I would ruin it somehow, but yep, so I got Grateful, and the next canister, which is $12.99, is Thankful, so I got this guy, and the biggest one that I got that was $14.99 was Blessed, so 
I do have all three of those, so we're good in that department. I know there's Gobble, Gather, Family. There's still those ones that are out there that need to be found by myself, but who knows if we'll even be found. Um, but yeah, I did get these, especially for Thanksgiving. I feel like I'm, I'm good. If I find more, even better, but I feel like I, I honestly didn't even plan on buying any Thanksgiving canisters, but there was like an overstock of them, I feel like, in Vegas. I wish that was like with all the Halloween canisters, because that would be fantastic, but I can't complain. And now we got some pumpkins. I got three to show you, and then I'm going to have one next week to show you, but I'm just going to go with the smallest guy first. The small guy I got was Gather. The next one that I got was family. This is the medium size. I don't have any of the large sizes. I feel like it might just be too, too big. And the last pumpkin that I got is blessed. So this is everything that I got. Um, may not seem like a lot, but I'm looking in front of me and I'm like, oh yeah, it's kind of a lot. I mean, the bank account says that it's a lot. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, that is everything that I got. Uh, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.